you saw from the intro, I am making the Chamber of Secrets door. Again, for this one, I have a printout for you that you can download for free from my website. I will leave a link in the description box below. Furthermore, we need scissors, glue, a craft knife, some paints as well. I will leave everything that I can find for you in the description box below if this goes too fast for you. A palette and some paint brushes. We also need some twine to hang it, some tools to work on our clay and of course some polymer clay as well and chipboard that you can see lying underneath the supplies. The clay that I'm using is Sculpey Ultralight. I am also going to use this sheet of glass. This is just from an old picture frame. This is so I can see my design through it and I can work my clay on top of it and it can go in the oven as well. You're going to start by cutting out all the pieces that are on the sheet of paper. And as you can see here, this is how you can cut them out. And I am going to use chipboard. I am then lying down all the pieces on the chipboard and I'm going to stick them down with some painter's tape. You can also use washi tape or even a little bit of glue. I am then going to trace around with a pencil. Once all the pieces are traced and are now on the chipboard, you will have to score this piece. This is piece number four, I think. And you're going to just score the lines that are there. This is so it will show up when you paint the design later. Then this is how you layer them and um, then we can start sticking them together. I am using wood glue. You can also use tacky glue or uh, PVA glue. It will all work just fine. I am taking this paper piece that I cut out earlier and I'm going to stick that underneath the glass plate. So here you can see this is layer five that I have stuck down and this is underneath and this is the top layer. I have also stuck down layer five, which is the rectangle piece, just so I know to where to go with the clay. And I'm going to condition my clay and form it into a long snake of clay so I can make the smaller snakes. You can also very easily make this project with air dry clay or maybe even paper clay if you have that or want to make that yourself. I have done that in previous videos as well. In the dragon book you can find me making paper clay and it to this day, it still holds, by the way. That clay is still usable. But I'm using polymer clay and this is gonna go in the oven. So I'm just forming snakes of clay and I'm going in with the details now. With the back of a tool, I'm going to add scales, which is the perfect tiny scale size for this type of snake. And with my dental explorer tool, I am going to sculpt out the heads of the snakes. This is what they are looking like right now and it is ready to go into the oven. In the meantime, we can work on something else, which is adding details to the door. I am adding little dots, which will act as little rivets on the door. And I am doing this with Gorilla Wood Glue. I'm doing that all over, making sure it's dry before I paint it. But this will give that extra special effect that you want. The snakes are all done and fit perfectly and now it's time to add the hinge of the door which needs to line up with the snakes. So I'm just going to attach that to the door here and then I'm going to add that snake texture and then I'm going to sculpt out the snake bodies that kind of curl around that hinge. And you're probably wondering how I'm going to cure that. Well, I'm just going to pop this whole thing in the oven and it will be just fine. 
And after baking, it's time for painting. My favorite part in the whole process. I'm starting with a medium type brown and then we're going to go over with a dry brush which is basically dipping your paintbrush in paint dabbing off most of it and then going over the entire surface dry brushing it on it's hard to see but here i'm adding on that metallic paint that really brings out that shine and the scales as well and of course we also have to paint the door i'm gonna go in with that same brown but for this part, I'm also going to add some shading with the black paint. I'm doing this also with a dry brushing technique, just adding a very small amount on my brush and then going into all the nooks and crannies to add that darker shade. I want to bring out those etched lines that we etched before a little bit more. So I'm going to go in with a black paint and just darkening those lines. And of course, we cannot forget the dry brushing to bring out all the rivets that we've put on and also adding some metallic paint in the end. I am gonna go over with a black wash to age up the door a little bit more and also to add some shading where I did not shade yet. I am going to do the same with the snakes because they stand out a little bit too much being so metallic and just going in with that black wash again and just brushing it all over. Then it's time to glue the snakes onto the door and complete the project. I am using hot glue. You can also use any type of other glue to glue this down onto the door. The twine that I'm using is a little bit nicer when I burn down all the bits that are sticking out just be careful when you do this and make sure that your twine is made for this i'm going to flatten out both sides of the ends of the twine and going to stick it onto this piece of chipboard that i cut out from a previous step this is just a leftover that i'm reusing and i'm going to stick both ends onto this circle so that we can hang it up I am using hot glue to stick this piece of chipboard onto the back of the ornament. And then of course I need to paint the back so the ornament is nice and finished. Let's have a look at the final result. I hope you enjoyed me creating the door of the Chamber of Secrets. There are many, many more ornaments that will follow in the coming weeks. I really do love how this one turned out. All my social media can be found in the description box below. And if you're new here, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe and bell notification button so you don't miss out on any future videos. And of course, become part of the Raven family. Thanks so much for watching. Stay safe and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.